everyone here before we configure the pagp so now i am going to remove the pagp and we are going to configure the lacp okay so let's remove the configuration what i will do here i can uh, i will go under the interface i am already under that interface i will write no i am removing the configuration whatever we done before i will write no channel protocol pagp okay let me write no let me go under that interface and check show show ip interface brief so now if you see i have one interface where it is this is the interface so i need to remove this one so how we can do i will go in the global configuration mode i will write interface range f0 by what is that one f0 by 1 dash 2 okay and then here we done the configuration so what configuration we told we told channel group 1 right so here i will write no channel sorry no channel or let me write first of all channel protocol pagp okay and here i will go i will write here no i remove this one okay after that what i will say i will write here no channel uh, group 1 auto so i remove this one <coughs> and what else we can write here i can check here show ether channel summary i remove that one so now you have but this ports are not there and this is capital s and d if you see capital s means layer 2 and d means don it is don okay so now what else we can do here i remove that pagp configuration now okay pagp i remove so here same thing i will do i will go here i will remove the pagp here also so i will go in the configuration i will write interface range fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 and i will write here no channel channel protocol what protocol pagp we use pagp okay and then i will write here no channel group 1 mode okay i press enter or what let me write here mode i do desirable right so i remove that one also here so that go down here let me check what we have here i will write show ip interface brief so you see here this port is down now and if you want to check this one you can write show ether channel summary show ether channel summary now we don't have any physical port here only this pagp we configure that one is showing here so now i need to remove this also so what i will do i will copy this i will go here configuration i will write no interface and put that one and press enter now it will remove if you type here show ip interface brief you will not have that one before you have somewhere here so i remove so now no configuration we have nothing here i remove everything if you write show ether channel summary i remove you don't have anything here now nothing is there so what we done just we remove everything now we are going to configure the lscp you need to remember whenever you are using the pagp that means it is a cisco device you need to remember pagp is working in the cisco device okay so let's do the configuration okay let me do so let's do the configuration here what we are saying just now we done the pagp in our previous class so now we are going to do the lscp so now we are going to learn here same scenario i am using here we are going to configure the lscp before we done the pagp okay so configuration little different all other thing will remain same so let's do now so this is a switch one i will go in the global configuration mode i will select interface range i will write here f0 by 1 dash 2 okay then i will write here switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q then switch port mode trunk okay after that what we will do we will write here channel channel protocol 
let me write here channel protocol what protocol we are going to use we are going to use lacp then channel group channel group we can give group 1 and here i am using the mode as active there we have auto and desirable when you are using the pagp now in the lacp we have active and we can say passive so when you have both the side active it will work when you have one side active one side passive it will work okay so here i done the configuration if you want this uh, this one let me write here what i am saying in the lacp i am doing the la cp when you are doing the lacp we have more two types of mode we have in the lacp when you have here we can say active here also active then it will work both the side active it will work one side active one side passive it will work if we bo if you have both the side passive then it will not work in the lacp if you put both the side passive then it will not work so what i done here i enable here the active now i will do i will go for the other switch and we are going to do the configuration here also same configuration we are going to do let me make this small and now i will do here okay so the configuration is simple let me move here i can write here enable config t okay interface range f0 by 1 dash 2 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk and now what i am going to do i am going to write here channel channel protocol what protocol lacp then channel group group we are using one and mode we are using active you can use active or passive both passive will not work i am using one side active one side passive now it will work if you check you write show ether channel if you write here show ether channel summary then you can see it will work okay it is done before now it move up if you check here let me show you what you are getting you are getting here you have the port 0 by 1 here if you see su what is the meaning of s capital s means layer 2 u means in use here and this is the protocol we are using lacp these are the two physical interface if you see we have here p p is nothing but port in channel so it is working perfectly and now what you will do you will go in the global configuration mode you will write here p o1 okay interface uh, you go under that interface you will configure here trunk switch port mode encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk now you configure the trunk under that it uh, what we can say under that uh, virtual uh, port logical port and when you check show interface trunk you can see here we have the trunk here this one and you can go here and you can check here also you can write here like this show interface trunk you have only you automatically it become here also but as per the cisco we will do manually so i will write here po1 and here switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk okay so now we have the trunk both the sides so we configure here if you want to check right show ether channel summary so with this one you can see we have the ether channel that is a port channel we have p01 by using the lacp lacp is a non cisco protocol it will work in cisco and also non cisco device so you can take one juniper switch and one cisco switch and you can configure the lacp or you can use the palo alto firewall or fortigate firewall connect to two interface of the fortigate firewall and connect to one switch and you can configure the ether channel you can do that way also okay your wish you can try you can use the nic tuning you can do but there we need, we are using vpc okay virtual uh, port that one we are using vpc we are using if you want to do and we are need to use the uh, what we can say nexus switch so in the nexus switch you will do the vpc and you will do the nic tuning later we will see that one we don't have in ccna ccnp that okay so with this one we finish the ether channel basic configuration in our next class we are going to discuss more details